hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Jemima. today we are going into a new series how to be independent in exam hall this is one of my most requested series as well for those who do not know i do not talk in exam hall like i don't ask and i don't tell and um i mentioned it in my video on how i got a distinction in my preclinicals. if you've not seen that video i'll put the link up for you and then after mentioning it in that video i received a lot of questions and a lot of dms and comments on this so i decided to make it a full video and that is why you're seeing this video today so the first tip i'm going to give to you is it's a decision i made that decision and i am so so firm about it i am so convinced about the decision that no matter what anybody says to me eh it's not going to change the fact that i've made that decision so if you're interested in being independent in exam hall you have to make that decision don't do it because every other person is doing it don't do it because so, so person asked you to do it it needs to be a decision that you have made on your own it needs to be a firm decision that no matter what anybody says it's not going to change your decision you need to be led it needs to be something that is coming from within i am led to do it <laughs> you get and no matter what anybody tells me it's not going to change how i feel right inside of me about talking in exam hall it's not going to change that so you if you want to be independent you need to make that decision as well and not just making the decision it needs to come from within there shouldn't be any influence from the outside world because if it's someone that is making you make that decision if you try it once you try it twice and it doesn't work out well for you trust me you will feel frustrated and you you would consider going back to your old ways so it needs to come from within another um, tip i'm going to tell you about is studying hard i have put up series of videos on how to study for distinctions I, I'm going to put um, the link up for you so you'd follow up with that one and follow up with all the videos on that same series how to study for distinctions you have to study you cannot decide to be independent in exam hall and you have not studied you need to study because you know that once you enter the exam hall it's you and your paper you, you it is no longer business as usual that you have friends and colleagues and classmates around you that you can you can you know give eye and say okay if it's a you do like this or if it's b you do like this or somebody you can pinch to say please it, can you remind me of this nobody to remind you of all these things so so you have to study hard and when you're studying study with that mindset that oh more now me and my exam paper so you should have that mindset while studying if you start from while studying it's not on exam day you will not make that decision that you will not talk in exam <laughs> your village people will just be smiling and be laughing <laughs> so um like i've said from your studying phase have that mindset that it's just you and your exam script in exam hall so that it will help to make you study more effectively another thing i'm going to talk to you about is have a spiritual backup i have a backup who I have a strong spiritual backup so that decision i made eh, i'm not depending on only my brain at all i have the holy spirit the holy spirit i study with him i read with him when you see me studying i'll be like ah holy spirit please so help me understand this thing i don't understand though in the evening in the exam hall you see me writing in the exam hall you think i'm talking to somebody you don't know it's the holy spirit i'm talking to i'm like oh holy spirit ah see this thing it's two of us that studied it together oh, please remind me I have backup oh you see why it's not good to follow people <laughs> i have my backup i don't do this alone i do my studying with the holy spirit i write in exam hall with the holy spirit as well i'm going to upload a full video on how to have a communication with the holy spirit and how to you know develop your relationship with the holy spirit so you should in case you're interested in in getting the holy spirit involved in your studying and in your life I'm going to upload a full video on that have a spiritual backup don't just depend on your brain alone it's the holy spirit that reminds me of things that i have studied it's the holy spirit that also helps my understanding helps me to understand certain stuff when i am studying it's the holy spirit that is my backup so when i enter the exam hall i just smile because if i try to recall anything that i have studied before i 
call the Holy Spirit to help me. And he reminds me, I don't do it alone. Another thing I'm going to talk to you about is your sitting position. Choose your seat wisely. You know you don't talk in exam hall and you're going to the back to go and sit down in between people who have done formation already. Then you're not serious now. If you don't talk in exam hall, what are you going behind to go and do? <laughs> what? Why are you going to go and sit down in between people who are doing formation? Why? Is it because you're waiting to hear, probably when they whisper at each other, you will be able to hear it and write on your own. Then what's the point making the decision? Why don't you just allow yourself to be free at once than to make this kind of decision and still look for a, a, a second opinion and look and sit on the fence? This kind of decision is not a decision that is made by sitting on the fence. You have to be firm about and one way to be firm is by choosing your seat wisely. For me, I don't like sitting at the front there are so many reasons why one of the reasons why i don't like sitting in front is because the invigilators usually sit down there and discuss and it it interrupts my thought process another reason is because when it's time to collect scripts now you wait they sit down for front then we we'll collect from first and sometimes you may not be done writing you get if you're sitting at the middle or, you, or if you're sitting behind you can easily just pen down one or two things before they finally collect your scripts from you but if you're at the front you don't have that privilege so that's one of the strongest reasons why i don't like sitting at the front but my point is choose your seat wisely if you don't want anybody to disturb you then why go behind if you're going behind you should have a strong enough reason for sitting behind another thing i'm going to tell you is let your classmates know your stand i know it's relative you may be decide to say ah, is in all my life is anybody paying school fees for me why should i explain myself to others but I think it's for the sake of peace, for the sake of your mental health as well, just let your decision be made known. Let your, your classmates know that you don't talk in exam hall. Let that be a standard that you set for yourself and you stick to it. You cannot be telling your classmates that you don't talk in exam hall and then they are seeing you whispering to the person or the other. It just doesn't make sense. Or you tell them you don't talk in exam hall and they are seeing you with a piece of paper, you're cheating, or you write things on your palms or you, you write things on the table or it doesn't make sense let your classmates know that oh this is this is this is i don't talk in exam hall i prefer to work independently i don't ask i don't tell my classmates know i do that and they know me for that and i don't need to be apologetic and i really don't need to apologize to anybody for this decision it is my own decision to make you really do not have to apologize to anybody if you decide to make this decision it is your life you're the one living it the, the certificate is going to be yours so you don't owe anybody apology but for the sake of your mental health and for the sake of peace it's better you let your classmates know that oh i don't talk in exam hall low. or probably someone may pinch you in, ex in exam hall to help and maybe you don't respond courtesy demands that after exam you meet up the person and say oh uh, yes, so I heard you were calling me oh, this and this, oh, but I really don't talk in exam hall. Be frank. It's also maturity too. Be the mature person. And yes, the person may want to be like, ah, when that one takes that now, they may try to make some kind of nasty comments or statements. Don't mind them. The important thing is that you've passed out the information. But I, do, I don't think it's nice for you to just ignore when they're calling you, they're trying to ask for your help in exam hall you ignore you don't reply after the exam you just walk away i really i it's relative though you your own personality may it may be okay by you but for, for me I, I don't feel it's nice i think it's courtesy demands you meet up the person after the exam to you don't need to necessarily explain yourself but just to let the person know that yes so i heard you but this and this is because i don't talk in exam hall that is another way of making the announcements now i'm not saying you should go to each and every one of you me to say oh i don't talk in exam or i don't talk in exam or i don't talk in exam but this is a subtle way you can drive your resolve home this is a subtle way you can let them know that this is my stand this is my decision and i intend to stand by it another thing i'm going to tell you is fam i am so sorry about my microphone issues i really apologize please come back tomorrow for the rest of this video i remain your girl jemima bye